Hi, my name is Bogush. I'm the marketing manager at DV Systems. And today I'm going to be talking about how to register a rotary screw air compressor online at dvcompressors.com. So let's go to our website, dvcompressors.com. You can access or locate the product registration forms under either customer service, under the registration center, or on our homepage by scrolling down underneath the slider here and clicking on product registration. So let's go ahead and click on product registration. This is our product registration page where you will find both the reciprocating air compressor registration form and the rotary screw air compressor registration form in both English and French. So let's go ahead and click on the rotary screw air compressor registration form. This is the rotary screw air compressor product registration form. It has a few parts to it, so let's go ahead and proceed. First, type in the customer's first name, then the customer's last name, the customer's company name, next the customer's city, the customer's state or province, and now the customer's email. So for illustrative purposes, I'm just going to be using our generic email registration at dvcompressors.com for all our email entries here. And now go ahead and fill in the installer or seller's company name and the installer's email. From the drop down, choose your location, USA, Canada, or other, and click on Next. Here you will enter the model number. So today I'm going to be registering a G25 air system, so a G25TD tank with dryer. Next, enter the six digit long serial number and click on Next to advance to the next screen. Here under Installation Information, you'll choose your on-site voltage from the drop-down. So I'm going to be choosing 200 volt three-phase. Next, enter the on-site amp service in amps. Next, enter the ambient temperature, either in Celsius or Fahrenheit and the number of hours on the air compressor. Next, enter the installation location where the air compressor is situated. And click on Next to advance to the next screen. Under mechanical information, enter the number of air receivers. So since this is an air system, there will be one air receiver and then enter the size of the air receiver in gallons. And next, the diameter of pipe from unit to the tank. So since this is an air system, you can choose to put in OEM. And same thing for the length of the pipe from the unit to the tank. Since this is an air system, you can choose to enter OEM. Click on Next to advance to the next screen. Now we need some electrical information. So is this a disconnect or breaker? Choose from the drop-down menu. Next, enter the size of breaker in amps. And click on Next to advance to the next screen. So here we're going to be filling out some initial startup observations. So the voltage measured at the unit. Now the amps drawing at maximum pressure. Next, enter the load pressure, and then the unload pressure. And include any notes that you deem relevant, such as running well. Click on Next to advance to the next screen. And here, just to enter some notes on your observations after half hour runtime. So running well. Next, to advance to the next screen, 
This is where you can upload your photo of the installation. This is recommended. Click on choose photo. Select the photo that you want to upload. Select choose. And now we have a photo uploaded with our submission. Next, was the installation successful? Yes or no? Click on yes, if it is. And next, you need to agree to the terms and conditions of this registration. So, I agree to maintain this product in accordance with the instructions contained in the product manual and use only official DB systems maintenance parts and kits. You need to choose, yes, I agree from the drop-down to be eligible for our extended warranty of five years on our rotary screw air compressors. Next, if you do have a promo code, insert it here. If not, then continue to submit. At this point, it will prompt you to review all of your fields to ensure correctness for submission. So let's just scroll down to see if we have included all our fields. And we have. So I'm going to click Submit. Once you have submitted the form, the form will refresh and clear. At this point, you can continue on and register another product, or you can check your email for the product registration confirmation email, which will look like this. And it will include all of the values that you input into the form for your records, as well as the, a copy of the photo that you uploaded as well. Also, it includes a CSV file that you can input or enter into your system for your own record keeping. And that concludes our tutorial on how to register a rotary screw air compressor online at dvcompressors.com. Have a good day.